Hello everyone, in today's video I want to show you how to get to round 400. The highest round I've gotten to is round 443 without abusing any bugs or glitches. You can do the same if your computer or phone can handle it. You probably already know this, but late game tends to get laggy. Before starting a late game run, you should decide what hero to bring. The three best heroes for late game are Admiral Brickwell, Azili, and Adora. So let's go over the advantages and disadvantages of each hero starting with Brickwell. If you place your Ventral True Sun God on water, which you will be doing, Brickwell's Naval Tactics ability gives double attack speed, 1 extra pierce, and normal damage type. The 1 extra pierce and normal damage type isn't important for late game. The main selling point for Brickwell is her double attack speed is a massive buff for VTSG, and Naval Tactics can be tech botted. Keep that in mind for when we talk about our next hero, Adora. Adora is basically Brickwell on steroids. Her level 7 ability, Blood Sacrifice, gives all Sun Avatars and above double attack speed and 50% increase in range. Still, her main drawback is the ability cannot be tech botted, so you can't AFK if you want to make the most of her. You have to be sacrificing towers actively, and keep in mind that Blood Sacrifice is based on price. To get the most power out of it, you must sacrifice at least $2,000 to get the maximum benefit. Unlike Brickwell and Adora, Azili doesn't really buff the temple that much. Instead, she relies on her level 20 Moab Hex to take down late game bads, because Moab Hex is percentage based. Despite this, she isn't good for going extreme late game because you want to be buffing the temple as much as possible come late game. Not to mention you'll be struggling with hexes on cooldown. Now if you are trying to go late game in let's say chimps mode, Azili is perfect because it's kind of difficult to get up true sun god, I'm not even sure if it's even possible in a game of chimps and I feel like you'd just be better off investing that money into boat paragon anyways. So this guide of course does assume that you're not doing this in chimps. Overall, Adora is the best hero, followed by Brickwell, then Azili. I chose Adora because Void Dora is one of my favorite hero skins. Anyways, the map I chose was Logs because Logs is the longest map in the game. I don't think I should go over farming methods, just spam top path farms. For the Vengeful True Sun God, I got a 2 2 2 1 temple, which means I gave it 2 primary sacrifices, 2 military, 2 magic, and 1 support. We will place as few towers as possible to reduce lag until round 250. Make sure you don't sell all your farms because we will spam temples all around the map. The temples are all going to be 1011 temples. So one primary sacrifice, one magic, and one support. Make sure at least one sun temple is buffing the VTSG. Now let's talk about paragons. Only one paragon is good come late game and that is the boat paragon because it can one shot bads. All the others will cause too much lag and won't do enough damage to make it worth slowing down your device even further. There is an argument for the Ninja Paragon because the Ninja Paragon does have a passive slow. It slows all balloons on screen except for bads, so that's why I'm not really going for Ninja Paragon here. It'll cause too much lag to really kind of make it worth using. There is an argument for Sticky Bomb, but then again, I do want this to be kind of as little lag as possible, so you can go for Ninja Paragon if you really want to but in this video I'm not going to do so just because that will create too much lag. And well that's really it, all you kind of need to do to get to around 400. Um, there are some other things, small things you can do, like you can shun up permabrew around to permabrew all the temples, as well as untech botting ultra boost from VTSG and start tech botting those temples so you can get those ultra boost stacks on kind of those other temples that are round. So those are some kind of small things you do, you can also spam um, some tier 5s. Some tier 5s I do get kind of later in the run was Avatar Wrath, MAD, and Supermines. That was really the only um, tier 5s I was going to bother with. The other ones that do equivalent or even greater damage, like I was thinking maybe Grandmaster Ninja, as well as Plasma Monkey Fan Club, and transforming uh, Total Transformation as well. I was going to go with those options, but those options do increase lag, especially Grandmaster Ninja just because it's going to be throwing around a lot of Caltrops. So if you are going to go for those options to increase the round you can get by maybe like, like maybe one or two rounds um you just be cautious you know you are going to be slowing down your vice a lot especially if you go for grandmaster ninja because it's going to be throwing around a lot of caltrops and that's pretty much it make sure you do get your balloon master alchemist down so that way you can start reducing lag Blue Master Alchemist is a really great lag reducer as it will reduce the amount of ZOMGs as well as DTs on the screen and maybe it can catch some DTs that are about to leak if it does end up hitting it. And that's pretty much it. So if you like the video, you know, um, like, comment, subscribe, join Discord. Link is down below in the description and I'll see you guys in the next video.